Hey, welcome back everyone. In this walkthrough, we're going to go through what is role-based access control and we're going to view and assign some roles to a user as well. And finally, we will view the activity log and remove a role assignment we created on this experiment. My name is Tushan Sutish and I'm your instructor for this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals examination course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So in this task, we are going to assign some roles and then we are going to review some activity logs as well. So first, we are going to create a resource group, a brand new resource group to test this role assignment task. So I'm going to go into resource group, select your subscription and type a new name for your new resource group. In this case, I'm going to use az 900 test rg and select a region where you want to place the resource group and hit create. It's going to create in like a couple of seconds. So once you have your resource group, you can go under your resource group and find the newly created one. Once you are inside the resource group on the left hand side, just below the activity log, you can find something called access control or I am. So within Access control, that is where you would have control to add assignments, deny assignments, administrators, and roles. So let's explore roles. So if you scroll through this, you would be able to find that there are a lot of built-in roles available within Azure by default. Of course, you can go and create a custom role if you want some granular permission to be assigned. But I'm sure that anything what you are looking at, you can find an appropriate built-in role available here. And next to these roles, there is an information button that lets you know that what sort of a control you can assign when you assign somebody to this particular role. Owner, for example, have full control. Contributor can do selected things. Reader can only read access, etc. So now come under role assignments. This is where you would be able to add or remove a user for a particular role assignments. By default, you can see that who is the owner for the subscription. Um, the owner for the subscription by, by default will get access to the subscription by the resources by default. Then you can click on add role assignments and select the appropriate role. So again, this is very important. Before assigning a role, you need to know that what role you, are, you want to assign for a user. So in this instance, I can go with a virtual machine contributor role and leave the assign access to Azure AD user group and service principal. That means that all the resources within your Azure and Azure AD. And under the select option, this is where you type in the username or the email address of a user, you assign a permission for that user for this resource group. In this instance, I'm going to select a user called Rick and uh, you click on save. Now that you have successfully added a user on a particular role, you can of course go back to the resource group and review that role assignments as well. Um, you would, you as an owner of the subscription or owner of the resource group would be able to always modify the role assignments. See, again, the whole idea of these role assignments are to give granular control to a particular user account. So the user account with a VM or virtual machine contributor role will only be able to manage those resources. And uh, that user will not be able to delete, delete or assign a new user to that particular role. Um, you as an owner can always go under the role assignments and delete or add a new role assignments as well. Again, in this instance, I'm going to cre create a reader role for a different user. And from that list, I can select that user and I can save it. So if, if I go under the role assignments, after this has been added, um, I can go and review that. Now, Summer Smith 
is also part of this resource group but summer only has reader access to this resource but if you look at modi modi have reader access but for the whole subscription so that is the main difference so summer when she log into the azure portal she can only see the resources within this az900 test rg resource group where in modi as the user even though modi has a resource group reader access he can go in and see all other resources in other resource group as well in this task we will view the activity log to view and verify the role assignments and uh, who have done all these changes you can view all these by going into resource group and just under the overview there is something called activity log that is where you can come in and select all these filter option to find out who has done what so this will give you information like a rick as a user have created a role called virtual machine contributor who who's got that and you can even go and find out all other audit report within this activity log as well congratulations now you have learned how to assign roles and view the activity logs to find out who have done these changes. As always, after a walkthrough, I will go back to my all resources and delete the resource to avoid any additional cost. So in the next, in the next module, we're going to talk about what are resource log and how can you implement this resource log. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.